Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to find factors of numbers up to 40. All right, and uh, basically you have to remember that a factor is uh, a number that goes into another number uh, without any remainders. So, for example, if I draw a grid Okay, so we have here 18. Uh, there are 18 uh, squares, all right? So if I wanted to know what the factors of 18 are, uh, I would just say what two numbers multiply together to give me 18, and those numbers would be the factors. Now, uh, there are different ways that you could uh, make a make a, uh, a set of bo uh, set of boxes that equal eighteen. You could do what I've done in two sets of nine. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's two sets of nine. Uh, you could have gone uh, three sets of six. So you could have a box where there are actually three rows, okay? So three, six, nine, and so on, okay? And that would give you 18 as well, all right? So we could, we could say that uh, two times nine gives us 18. We could say that three times six gives us 18, all right? Um, so that means that 3 and 6 and 9 and 2 are factors of 18, all right? So you just have to remember that a factor is a number that divides evenly, okay? It goes evenly into this number, so... Um, For example, if we had 24, all right, what numbers will go into 24 evenly? When I multiply them together, they give you 24. So, for example, we could say 2 times 12 gives us 24. We could say 4 times 6 gives us 24, okay? Uh, we could say 3 times 8 is 24. So that means that the factors of 24 are 2 and 12, 4 and 6, 3 and 8. Okay, and that's really all factors are. They are just the numbers that go evenly into 24 or whatever number you're looking for without any remainders. All right, so another way of looking at it would be this. If we have, um, let's say, 36, oops, okay, and you're trying to find out which, uh, what the factors are of 36. Well, you can go, you can go through uh, some of the times tables, for example. You can have a look, you can think, right, well, does 30, is 36 on the two times table? Well, yes, if you go after, if you go two times 13, 
it is. So it is on the two times table. Okay. Uh, is it on the three times table? Well, yeah, it's three times twelve. Okay, so three times twelve. Is it on the four times table? Yep, four times nine. Okay. Uh, is it on the five times table? No, because it doesn't end in five and it doesn't end in zero. So it's not in the five times table. What about the six times table? Yeah, sure, because it's six times six is 36. What about the seven times table? No. Uh, the closest we can come to uh, 36 on the seven times table would be 35, which is uh, not what we want. Okay, eight times table. No, nope. the closest we can come on the eight times table is 32, so that's not it. Nine times table. Yeah, well, we already know that it's in the nine times table because we had it here. Okay, so that means that it's in the four times table and it's in the nine times table. Okay, so the factors of 36 are 2 and 13, uh, 3 and 12, 4 and 9, 6 and keep going from there. Okay, so it's important to remember that if you're looking for the factors of a number, you need to think, right, does that number come in any of the times tables that I know. Okay? And that should help you find it out. Alright, good luck.